just ask you just firstly about Wales on the weekend. Mark, you've been delighted to see you know, people like George and John their performances. Yeah, yeah, I was over the moon for obviously the Scarlet players in particular, but uh, I was just chuffed to see all the Wales players play really well, I think. Every player that came off the pitch play, played their part in that. It was a great, great victory, really, and a um, bit of adversity there, a little bit like 2008 when we went out there. We, we lost, I think it was uh, Mike Phillips to the bin that day, and obviously Wales lost Bradley, and there were some little bits of uh, reflection there that were similar, but yeah, it was a good performance all round, I think. They stayed in the game, um, good intensity from start to finish. Um, and finished stronger, really. And I suppose they were a little bit lucky, maybe with the with the penalty. It was a penalty, probably, but maybe maybe a bit lucky with the sin yeah. minute. Um, yeah, it was it was a good day all round, yeah. I think. Obviously, you know George well. He, will he cope with the intensity and obviously the, the focus on him that he's going to have now for the rest of the championship? Yeah, well, he's going to have it for the rest of his career, I suppose, if he keeps uh, playing to that sort of level. But yeah, we've had a chat with George on several occasions. He's yeah. reaching a, a level of. Popularity now within the rugby circles and outside of it, really, yeah. for and people are going to be asking him to do lots of things on and off the field. And as long as he's he's yeah. true to himself, he's a smart lad. Um, I don't think it'll go to his head for for one moment. But um, as long as he concentrates on the rugby, yeah. keeps producing on the rugby front, then he'll be fine. But great for the Scarlets to see someone who has come through the system here and just almost becoming a good yeah. I think all the boys really, you know, uh, Reese and John. Um, George, you've mentioned, even Ken, who, who didn't get an opportunity to, to play, uh, they sort of encompass what we're about here, really. Uh, they've been developed from within, and um, they hold a lot of our core values, and there's no doubt when they go to Wales, um, Wales base a lot of their stuff around them, and, and rightly so. So we do feel proud of that, but of course, um, Warren and Rob are doing good work with them as well. It's not all down to us. We're just paying, we're a piece in the puzzle. Um, but I think, yeah, everybody that's coached those boys should have take a great deal of credit for it. The semi-professional teams that coached them beforehand at junior level all paid some part in it. So. Yeah. It's, it's a tough ask isn't it, to play a game on a Saturday in, in difficult conditions <laughs> like it was and then, uh, and then head up on a Wednesday for another game. It's not very so. often you've got a Glasgow and it'll probably be warmer. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it, um, it probably will be. Yeah, no, it's, it's a bit of a, it's quite similar. Really. Uh, yeah. the, the pitch is obviously a little bit smaller as well. It's a soccer field. so. Um, that's that's quite similar. Um, the conditions will probably be similar. It won't be warm, I shouldn't imagine. Um, um, but both the two teams are strong, strong setups as well. You know, good physical yeah. sides. So um, yeah, it's, it's a tough ask to back it up, and we've had to, to take uh, note of that in our training preparation today, and um, give the boys two days off after the game uh, because it was such a hard encounter. You know. But these boys, I suppose, who have stepped in during periods, whether it's international rugby, they've, they've sort of done a decent job for this year. Oh, well, uh, I don't know. I don't know if this is a fact, but I would fair to say that they've probably won more games than perhaps when we've got our full, right. our full yeah. crew out. You know, they've, yeah. they've you know, won a lot of LV games, a lot of uh, regional games. It'd be interesting to find out, really. But they've played a major part in where we are. We're in two playoffs at the moment. Yeah. We'd like to be in the main Heineken, but obviously we're in the Amblin. Which still is great, great achievement. And obviously the last playoff we're after is... The league, so they they're going to play a vital role over the next six weeks, really, in trying to secure that, that um, playoff spot for us. Yeah. It's been a tough couple of weeks, isn't it? Because you've got Leinster as well mm. the following week. It's yeah, and mm -hmm. Treviso then as well. Yeah. So um, you're in that position where you're just bordering on the playoff place. Yeah, the fifth, so. yeah, it is. Um, I think you know we we were we got a hard fought victory up in Glasgow towards the end of last yeah. season, which gave us a shout of qualifying for the playoffs in the last game. We we just missed out on it, as you know, um, but. You know, if we've got aspirations of um, getting into the playoffs, we do need to get some something from this game, I think. Um, similar yeah. position, aren't they, in terms of... Yeah, they're fourth, I think, are they? Uh, they're point ahead of him, and similarly, they've got a lot of players in the yeah. Scotland as well. So. Yeah, well, they, they brought a, a mixed team down yeah. here. The last time they came down, they were very formidable, so um, I'm, uh, I'm not envisaging it uh, a very light encounter up there. They've, they've put many a good side to the sword up there recently, both with their, you know, their so-called first team and their, you know, their, their squad players, so... Uh, the good thing about us is our squad players have done particularly well for us. Um, I think they didn't play as well as they could have last week. Um, but I'm looking forward to the, some, you know, uh, a good performance from us this week, really, to make a good account of ourselves. Josh back there, please. Yeah, he's trained with us today anyway, so um, you know, hopefully Josh will be in the mix tomorrow when we announce the team. Uh, I'm not sure whether he'll be in a starting position or obviously um, off the bench, but uh, we look to keep, uh, keep Josh in there, uh, you know, and good to have him back. Yeah. Um, you know, Josh playing at the top of his game is is uh, is a great player to have in your squad. So it's good to have him back. Injury to Rob, obviously, and, uh, that yeah. Aaron and ben. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're fortunate. We've got a lot of good, a lot of good back row players here, yeah. and they can't all play at the same time. And yeah. it is difficult, but we're very.
very fortunate and uh, to start having people like Josh now coming back. Uh, Shings, if he if he's not involved with Wales, obviously to have him back and to, you know to join the likes of Kieran and, and Johnny Eds who've been very good for us. And, um, yeah, we're, we're lucky. How impressed have you been with, um, with the Ongi since it's happened? Uh, I don't think he likes the snow too much. It's the first time <laughs> he's see it's the first time he's seen it. Uh, he was telling me before the game, so I wasn't overly enthused <laughs> when he told me that before the game. But yeah, listen, it's it's never easy for a, for a young guy to come to a different country. Um, don't speak the language, but you know like the natives, um, so he, he's been picking things up as he's going, but uh, listen, what he has got, he's got a little bit of X factor and um, he's got that ability to score from anywhere, so um, yeah, he brings a lot to the squad, there's lots of things, uh, you know, like that he can do better like there was when I was playing, so um, you know, nobody's the, the finished article, but yeah, what I like about him is his attitude, he, he tries hard and um, he seems a good professional on and off the field, so yeah, he's been good, he's been good for the boys. Challenging, you talked about two playoffs already and mm. looking for another one. It's a, as I said, it's a big ask, it's a tough test for the squad, isn't it? To yeah. go juggle all three in the closing two or three months of the season. Yeah, I wouldn't want it any other way, though. No. Um, you know, we've spent a long time down here not, not contesting for any sort of quarter final, semi final spot, so it's, I'd much prefer the, uh, the headache of yeah. you know, trying to find players to, to fight on three fronts, but it does pressurise the squad, there's no yeah. doubt about it. Um, but uh, like I say, I wouldn't have it any other way. I think we've got we've got a, a squad depth here now, which allows us to be able to do that. I think, um, but probably um, the most important one from my own perspective probably is that league playoff. Right. I think um, that's the one we'd be, you know, we, we'd really like to have on the mantelpiece at the end of the season. The other ones are are great, yeah. but uh, but of course, uh, I think that's the one really we all like to get our hands on. I suppose that measures improvement as well, as in having just missed out last year. Yeah, exactly, and I think it shows consistency as well, you know, to be able to string, you know, th through all the ups and downs we've just discussed, injury, international selection, uh, player form, yeah. to be able to be in the top four at the end of the year shows a good level of consistency, yeah. and I think that'll be the, m the marker for us this season. Um, you know, it's, uh, it, we've made strides already, but that'll be the, uh, the light the icing on the cake really to get into a, a semi-final. There were... Three games around Christmas where you kind of treated them as a block of games. Are you kind of looking at the next three in the same way? Have you got like a points target in mind? Or? Uh, yeah, we do keep an eye on the points uh, from the season and try and have a little comparison to where we think we, we should be or could be. Um, and we're there or thereabouts, really, like Glasgow, I suppose, at this stage of the season. You know, we're in good position. Um, but, you know, when you look at last year, we, we beat Glasgow up there last year. So, obviously, that's, you know, that's something we've got. If we've got ambitions to, to improve on our season, then we need to match that. This weekend, and it's not going to be easy. Uh, but yeah, we, we it's, it's a terrible thing, but it is one game at a time, really. And I think even more so now with the international players away, you have you can't you know you can't count on any players coming back or anything like that. Um, and I think that'll probably reflect in this week's selection, really. You know, um, we're not banking on those players coming back. If they are available, then it'll be a bonus, you know. How far are these next three games to your league aspirations? Oh well, they're, they're they're very very important. I think you know the fact that Glasgow are one point ahead of us um, becomes a very big game. Um, you know, Tr uh, Treviso with uh, sorry, um, uh, Treviso again is another game which is midweek as well, which will become important during the Six Nations. So I think it's not this this block of the Six Nations really is, is the important one. I think I think um, we need to come through that with um, you know more wins than we get losses and hopefully come through it with uh, you know the squad in a healthy situation as well it, there's no one one fast way and i think we we're trying to develop that here we're a very open style over many years but we're trying to balance that now with a very aggressive defensive game and um, you know tactically trying to um, make sure that we're not all one style of you know throw it around like we're trying to make sure we can serve some energy uh, for when we get in the attacking zones you know um, so it is a balancing act but it's one at, at the moment which is going okay for us